Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little Santa hat, or a little elf hat actually. Um, and it's going to be part of my Santa Tiny Tot tutorial. But I'm going to do the hat separately because it does take quite a long time. Um, so this is going to be the little Santa hat that we use for our Tiny Tot Santa. It's also going to be what we use for our Tiny Tot Elf, which you haven't seen as yet. So, colours that you will need are red and white. Now, if you're doing it for an elf, you can use green. Because I've already done this one, I'm going to do a green and white one in the tutorial. But um, it's exactly the same. Where I use the green, you would use the red. And you will have the exact same result that I have had here. So two colours only. Uh, your main colour for your for the body of the hat. And then the white for the pom-pom at the top. And the ruffle around the edge. So we're going to get started. We're going to do a magic ring of four. As I said, I'm doing green. I'm using Rainbow Loom's Lime Green. Um, just for my little elf hat. But uh, as I said, this, this is a... Santa or an elf hat. Start by taking a single band and wrapping it around your hook twice so you have three little loops. And then as I said we're doing four so slide your first one over like so. Now you can pinch these the little end cap with your fingers if you have trouble with that if you don't have fingernails you can use a little stitch marker and I use the clover stitch markers. I've got two different ones here. I've got a locking one and I've got the uh, little open one. But you can use an S clip, a C clip, a bobby pin, a safety pin, a paper clip. Whatever you have lying around, it works. And all you're going to do is put one... Whoops, let's try that again, Kate. Here we go. Pull your first band through. One over the other. Go back through. Grab the second band, one over the other, and join together. Back through again. Make sure you go through the three loops. Pull through, one over the other. Now you can do your magic ring on your loom or with your using a, a stitch marker to help you, or just with your fingers. It really doesn't matter. So here's number four, okay? And stretch them around so that they're evenly spaced. So after our magic ring, we're going to just do another single crochet round. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see what I'm doing quite clearly. Okay, so again, it's going to be four stitches. One, two, three, four is on our hook. Here's our first one. One. And you're going to put your stitch marker on that. Our second stitch is here. Two. Third stitch here, three, and this is our last final stitch, number four, is right here. Now our next round is going to be increasing from four stitches to five stitches, and to do that we're going to do an increase in this first stitch. So we have our first stitch move your stitch marker to it then we're going back into that first stitch and I know it's tricky because it's a small small space do another single crochet in that first stitch so you've got two single crochets in that first stitch which is an increase here's my second stitch just a single crochet third stitch single crochet fourth stitch single crochet. So we now have one, two, three, four, and number five is on our hook. We're going to do that again. We're going to go through the first stitch and do an increase. And then in the other, we're going to do single crochet. And that's going to increase it from five to six. So let's do our first stitch. Move your stitch marker. Do an increase in that first stitch, so go back in and do your second single crochet. And now we go, here's our second stitch here. Third stitch. 
fourth stitch and fifth stitch. So we've now got six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six is on our hook. We're going to do the same one more time to increase it from six to seven. Again, go through your first stitch, you're going to do two, and then you're going to do single crochet in the others. So here's our first stitch. Move your stitch marker. Go back and do your second single crochet so that you have an increase in that stitch. And now it's a single crochet in each of the others. One. I'll show it, that's two. <laughs> Three. Fourth stitch. Fifth stitch and sixth stitch. So you should now have seven stitches. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven is on my hook. So our next round, we're going to do a single crochet followed by an increase. So in through the first stitch. One. Followed by an increase in the next stitch. So that's two in the same stitch. Single. Increase. single, increase, and finish on a single. You now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number ten is on your hook. Our next round is going to start with an increase. So change your stitch marker to that. Go back in through that same stitch for your increase. And now all the way around with single crochet. So we now have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 stitches in total. Now we're going to do our first stitch as an increase and again single crochet all the way around. So back in through this first stitch and there's our first stitch, do an increase in it back through again and single crochet all the way around. This will take us to 12 stitches.
Our next round is going to be two single crochets followed by an increase. So in through the first stitch, here's our first single crochet, move your stitch marker, our second single crochet in the next stitch, and an increase, which is two single crochets in the same stitch. And let's do that again all the way around. One single crochet, one single crochet, and increase two single crochets in the same stitch. I'm about to lose my stitch marker so I'm going to just change it to this one here which I can lock so I just did two single crochets so I'm going to do single and finish on an increase like so. My next round, and I should have 16, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 is on my hook. We're going to do a round of single crochet. Again, you should still have 16 stitches because we haven't done an increase or a decrease. Our next round is going to be two single crochets followed by an increase. So first stitch, single crochet, move your stitch marker. Second stitch, single crochet. Third stitch is your increase. So two single crochets in the same stitch and you're going to do that all the way around and that will increase our stitch count to 21.
and finish on a single. Let's count our stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty one is on my hook. I'm going to do a round of single crochet. All the way around. So again, you're just going to have 21 stitches. Our next round, so we've got 21 stitches here, our next round is going to be 7 stitches and in the 7th stitch you're going to do an increase and then in the 14th stitch you're going to do an increase and in the 21st stitch you're going to do an increase. So here's stitch number 1, change your stitch marker to that stitch. And let's count, we're doing single crochets, so this is number two, three, four, five, six, now this is number seven. So I'm going to do a single crochet and then I'm going to go back into that stitch and do another single crochet, so that's an increase. Okay, and then I'm going to count another seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six. This is my seventh, so I'm going to do two in there. And if you look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my last stitch, I will do two in it. I'm going to do a single crochet in each of them until I get to my last stitch. And that will have taken my stitch count to 24, which for our tiny tots is the width that we need for the head. Here's my last stitch, I'm doing two in here. One and two. Now I'm going to do six rounds and I'm going to put my bands here to count them. Six rounds okay of green single crochet so as I go through my first stitch I'm going to take that one from this little pile here change my stitch marker to it and then I'm going to use this little pile of bands that I have you can't even see I've got my five little bands here left so I know I've got five rounds to do and then on my left here I have a little pile of bands I should zoom back out shouldn't I 
there we go oh, zoom back in there we go now you can see I'm going to go all the way around doing single crochet and keeping that little separate pile of bands just allows me to count what row or round I'm on without having to stop and write with a pen and paper so six rounds of green single crochet and then your seventh one is going to be a round of white single crochet so let's get back together when we've done our six of um, of green or well, you'll be doing red or you might be doing green whatever color you've decided to use your main color let's get back and then we'll do our white round together I'll catch you back so I have completed my six rounds of single crochet now for my elf hat I'm not actually going to bend over the top I'm going to leave it like this for my Santa hat I did bend over the top okay and it's very easy to do I'm going to show you in just a second let's first of all do our round of single crochet in white so we're changing colors moving into our first stitch change color by doing a slip stitch and move your stitch marker to that again as I said single crochet all the way around in white and it's completely up to you if you bend over the top or not Now I'm going to have a second stitch marker ready. You can have whatever you like ready really, it's just to hold a loop of band. So you can have um, a toothpick, another hook, a stitch marker, anything really, a pencil, but you will need it to do the brim of the hat or the fur that goes around. Try not to unravel everything. No, I'm determined to unravel everything. <laughs> my last stitch here you can see my little slip stitch there in the white where I did my color change just here so this will be my next stitch that I want to go through but I'm actually going to go through here as part of a um, working in the uh, post okay so what I'm going to do at this stage I'm just going to put my stitch marker and hold that stitch so I don't lose it I'm not ready to do the uh, the fur around just yet I want to work at the top of the hat now if you are going to bend this over just pick where you're going to bend it sort of about here and all you're going to do is go through one spot okay and through the next spot but you're going to pull a band through so I'm going to go through one spot like this and I've got my hook on the inside I'm going to take a green band or whatever color is your main color hold this tight and pull your band through now you want to make sure that you're just pulling that band through you're not catching or snagging another now there's another little stitch hole here I'm going to go through that so that it's different from the first stitch reclaim the end of the band that you were holding onto the end of your hook and you're going to pull it through so you have both ends of your band this side okay take a single green and tie 
a slip knot to hold them in place. Okay, now what you're going to do is go back into where that band was, where you went through. So you've got the two holes, it doesn't matter which one you go through. And take the end of that tie-off band and pull it inside the hat. And then you can't see where you've done that. So, I mean, you can have it bent over for the elf, it doesn't really matter. Either way works. Now, for the bobble on the top, and it's a messy bobble, it's supposed to be fur. What we're going to do, if you have a look, let's zoom in a little bit closer and make sure that we're in focus. We started with a magic ring of four, so you've got two little bands here, two little bands here, two little, two little here, loops of a band. You're going to go through the first little loop here and pull a single band through and we're going to chain one band and oopsie two <laughs> let's do that again so we're going to chain one and two so you've got one two and three little bands there go through the next one just those two little green bands or red bands. Pull your band through and reclaim. You've done nothing with these. These are sitting here. Chain another one to it. And for your third chain, you're going to go through all four of those loops like this. So you've got two on there. Go through the next one. And do exactly the same. Here's your first one. Here's your second, and then for the third, you're going to pull it through all four of those bands. Same for the last one. One, two, the third band is going to go through all four of those loops. Okay, now what we're going to do is with these two on here, go through the band that started this all off. Just go through one side of the two loops here. And again, you're going to take a band and go through those two and the two that are on your hook. And you're going to tie that off nice and tight. And this is just going to form a messy looking bobble at the top of the hat. And all you're going to do for that tie off band is go in, up through the top pull the end of that tie off band back inside the hat like that and just mess this up a bit so it looks messy okay pull the bands out a bit whatever you like really it's just supposed to be a messy sort of little bobble all right so that's how i did the bobble now the fur around. This is quite band intensive. You're going to use three per stitch. I guess it's three per stitch. Grab your last, your, your little end loop here. Now, as I said, what we're going to do is go through the post. The post is this little post here. Now, it's trickier on this because we've got the colour change. So, what I'm going to go is go through my first stitch and do a normal single crochet. Okay, just a normal single crochet. I know that's it's kind of double doubling up on that, but I'm not too worried. I'm going to take my stitch marker off for a second. Now, I'm working in this post here. The stitches are this side, but I have gone through from the back to the front and then from the front to the back of that stitch. And this is the bit that I'm grabbing. Okay, but first of all, I'm going to put my stitch marker on. This is what I'm saying about how you need to have a stitch marker to hold things. I'm going to take a single band and wrap it once. Single band, wrap it once. So I've done the figure eight, single band, wrap it once. So I've done that three times to form this. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my hook here on my first little stitch here and I'm going to slide all three of those onto that like this 
I'm then going to go in and grab that first post. With a single band, I'm going to pull back through the post, one over the other, and pull this one through that one, like this. This is my new stitch that I'm going to hold on to, and I'm going to put that on my stitch marker. I'm going to take a band, do figure eight, band, do figure eight, band, do figure eight. I've got three of them. Again, I'm going to go back to my little loop here that I've got on my stitch marker, and I'm going to slide these three onto that loop, and then go and find my next post, which is here. Single band, pull through the post, one over the other, and join. And again, I'm going to put my stitch marker on that so I don't lose that little loop. And I'm going to do the same again. One, two, three. Take this off. Slide on and go for the next post. We're going to do this all the way around. Now it's going to take a little while to do, so go through. I'm going to pop this on, do our three. One, two, three. slide on, go to the next post. Okay, so I am going to catch you back when we have all done this because otherwise we're going to be here forever when I do this. Do one more with you. One, two, three, Slide on and go to the next post. All right, I'll catch you back when we're near the end. So I'm nearly at the end. I've been going around doing this on every post. Sliding my three on, getting to the next post. And I think this is my last post here. So I'm going to do exactly the same for this last post. these three on and then I'm going to go with the loop that's on my hook I'm going to go into some of these bottom V's here and I'm going to tie off in a nice tight knot and I'm going to hide that tie off band under these V's that you see these little white V's that's where I'm going to hide these, or this I should say. Grab that little tie-off band and pull it through. 
and pull it through as far as you need to but just be careful that you're not uh, distorting the shape of your hat or the brim of your hat so just kind of pull it back into shape and there we have now you can if you need to pretty these up I like them kind of messy but you can sort of put your hook through and even these up if you need to if you feel that they are uneven but it's a it's supposed to be fur so it's supposed to have a that little look to it but there you go this is how I've done my little hats and uh, we just pop these on the head of our Santa and our elves uh, like so so that's it that's them that's part one of our Santa anyway hope you enjoy making take care